In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an ODBC connection to Sage50 accounts that you can then use within Power BI or Excel to extract your data. And to do that, we need firstly, we need to make sure that we're on the same machine or with direct access to your Sage50 accounts data. And then we go to the ODBC data source manager and we do that by searching our Windows applications and we just type in ODBC and we are presented with two choices a 64-bit or 32-bit and it is the 64-bit one that we want because Sage 50 accounts is a 64-bit application and then there are two choices or one choice of two things and that's to create a user data source name or a system data source name and the difference between the two is if you create a user data source name only you will be able to use it whereas if you create a system DSN then other people will also be able to use that connection that you've established so today we're going to create a system DSN and we just choose add and you're prompted to select the driver for which we want to set up a data source and since we want to connect to Sage 50 accounts we need to select the Sage 50 accounts driver. Now these drivers will be installed when you install Sage 50 automatically. And if I scroll down, I can see I've got a version 26 driver, version 27 and version 28. It's important that we get the right version for the version of Sage 50 that we're using. I'm using version 28, so I select the version 28 driver and finish. And there are just two more things we need to do. Firstly, we need to give our data source a name. And I'll give you three tips on that. The first tip is let's include Sage 50 in the title so that when we're browsing our data source names, we know this is a Sage 50 connection. And the second tip I would give is to identify the company we're connecting to within Sage 50 because Sage 50 is a multi-company system and each data source name will connect to an individual company. So if, if we have multiple companies, we will need a DSN for each company that we want to connect to. And the third tip that I would give is not to include the version of Sage 50 within the name of the data source. And that's for a very simple reason is that you're going to use this data source name within your Power BI reports and if you upgrade Sage, you don't want to have to update all your Power BI reports. We're going to give our data source a name of Sage 50 hyphen AI, AI for Accounting Insights, because that's the company that we want to connect to. And then finally, we need to identify the data path. Now, I don't know what the data path is, but it's easy to find. So if we open up Sage, which I have open here, and if we go to Help About, under Program Details, we can see the data directory, and this is where our data is stored. So if we click on that link, that'll open up File Explorer. Now we're nearly there, but actually what we want to do is browse to the Act Data folder. So if we double click on the act data folder here are all our data files and if we just select in the ribbon at the top now we can copy that and paste that as our data path for our new data source name and that's it created so we can scroll down and we here we can see our sage 50 ai data source name and we can very quickly check it so if I open up Excel, and we can go to Data, Get Data from Microsoft Query, and we scroll down to the data source name that we created, Sage 50 AI, and we click OK. Now, because this is trying to connect to a particular company, we need valid credentials to connect to that company. It's not, not just anybody can access it. so. We type in our credentials and there we have all our tables from Sage 50 that we can then 
load into Excel. And we can do the same in Power BI as well.